Hi, we just finished meeting for pronunciation practice on Tuesday, October 26th, and there were a lot of words that were challenging for me <laughs> because a lot of them I had seen and read more than heard, so I had to double check a lot of words, but that's good. Um, I always improve my vocabulary by doing this. Number three, traveling, most common without the extra O, just traveling, but I'm sure sometimes you'll hear traveling, but shorter version, traveling. And, and this is here because Tina went to Vermont, <laughs> Vermont. And evening is just two syllables, evening. Weekend, so the, I don't release the D unless there's a word after it with a vowel. Um, like this weekend is awesome, weekend is, you'll hear it. But by itself, have a good weekend. Hold your D, weekend. And this will sound the same because the ED doesn't sound like a separate syllable. It just sounds like D. So, weekend, weekend. Bollywood, the same as Hollywood with a B. And the first syllable vowel is ba. Bollywood. Excuse me. Wood. This is the uh sound that I don't have um, a letter for on the regular keyboard. So, I use the phonetic uh, like took. So, w, you have to round your lips for the W, but for the U uh sound, you usually don't round your lips. So, you have to go out and move them out and less rounded. W, wood. And hold the D. There. Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Cordial. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> There's no J in there, but that D I is a J. Cordial. Patron. Looks like O, but we don't say O. Patron. You can change this T to a D and say fertile. Or keep the T fertile. And I made it tile because when you say tie, your tongue goes very high and then it slides down for the Y. Tile. Fertile. The same as versatile or versatile. Oh, this is here because <laughs> fertile sounds a lot like turtle, even though they're spelled completely different. Aloe. This is a. Ah. It looks like a al. And um, I, I see it most with aloe vera. Difference. I can say rents or rinse, but with my accent, it's going to be rinse. Difference, which will sound the same, except for the vowel sound in the first syllable, deference, or three syllables, deference. So the only difference <laughs> between these is 15 is difference, and 16, deference, i and e. Um, the American pronunciation of this that I hear most often is Kaz, <laughs> Kazakhstan. This took me a while <laughs> because I kept putting an N in there. And then when I looked it up, I found out that sometimes it is pronounced with an N in there. So, restaurateur, restaurateur is this word, restaurateur, with no N. With the N, restaurant, restauranteur, restauranteur. It means the owner of the restaurant. Um, I'll just put owner. That's what I would say. Um, this can be al or all. Alto or alto, which is why I didn't put um, um, a vowel here because it could be al or all. It's the same aw sound in autumn. Tenor. Tenor. <laughs> I have to watch my accent. Ten. Head. Ten. Tenor. Perilous. Perilous, cantankerous, cantankerous. It's a fun word, I think, for grumpy. These are very similar, 23 and 24. First one, they have, they have different endings. Uh, silicon, with an ah, silicon. With the E, silicone, silicon valley. And silicone is used for breast implants. <laughs> So very different uses, those things. <laughs> manner, whether you're saying manner as in the house or manner as in the way things are done, it sounds exactly the same. Manner. 
surly, which is also grumpy, surly. If it's a noun, it's consummate. The A-T-E sounds like it. If it's the verb, it's consummate. The A-T-E sounds like eight. Well, actually, is this an adjective? Let's see. <laughs> now, I, uh, this is what I do all the time because I have to look through yeah, as an adjective. I want to make sure I give you the right information um, here. Okay. Liturgy. The T will change to a D. Liturgy. Repairable. Repairable. Era. Parable. <laughs> so the only difference is the IR sounds like ear. Irreparable. And this is reduced down to just the very basic American sounds or derve. <laughs> or derve. Um, it means the, the thing, little small thing you want before the meal, which is usually on the menus as apps or starters in more casual restaurants. Deer. Both of these spellings sound the same, ear, deer. Both of these sound the same, bear, air, beer, beard. So you do have to put your tongue in the D position, but don't release it, just hold it there, beard. Oh, a bear bear is a naked bear. You have some beer in your beard. <laughs> these are very useful phrases. <laughs> Oh, that's your homework to use those today. Envi environment, environment, patient, and the plural of patient as in a doctor's patient, patients, sounds the same as be patient, patience. So patience, patience sounds the same, patient, passion, the vowel here is a, ah, passion. Restaurant. This is kind of weird because the T, well, we push it together. We drop the middle syllable completely so it's not restaurant, but push it together. And now the T and the R are next to each other. And so we pronounce the TR together. Restaurant. And the AH, the vowel is AH, TRONT, and hold the T. Restaurant. There's a lot going on in that one word. Wow. Restaurant. Restroom, same thing. The T moves over to make the TR combination troom. Restroom. Unconscious. Unconscious. These will sound the same. Cannot. You will hear cannot. I cannot. I cannot go, maybe. But I cannot. I cannot believe it. Um, and the contraction, I can't believe it. The negative word will be stretched, and you'll hear the vowel a. Ah, I can't believe it. I can't go. But you won't hear the T, so it'll just sound like the positive can. However, the positive can sounds like can. Just make the K and the N can very quickly. Uh, don't even think about what vowel, just can. And then the emphasis will be on the um, verb or the action or the object, something that you're doing. <laughs> I can. I can go. Negative, I can't go. Positive, I can go. And we ended with ruler. This has a lot of movement, more than I, I realize, <laughs> but it doesn't come up on the word list a lot, maybe because people don't say this word as much as world, which has a lot of movement. So this one, start with your tongue in the R position. R Make the L. And then back for the R. Ruler. So the ler can be tricky to make sure you come back enough, have your tongue curl back enough to make a good final R. Ler. And I was trying to think of a word that had the ler part, and all I could think of was lurk. Um, because we had lurking a, a while ago. Ler. So if it helps to take a little break, take some time to move from the first R to the L, back to the R. Ruler. That's it. It was much faster going through the words to review them instead of me stopping to look up almost every word <laughs> to make sure I was pronouncing it correctly or what it meant, um, if it was an adjective or a noun or a verb. But I have to do it. That's what, that's what you can do too.
thank you. And I hope to see you next Tuesday or um, next Monday. I won't be meeting next Wednesday for intonation. But thanks. Hope to see you again.